Hey everyone, my name is Riley, and in this video, we will be taking a look at Notion Calendar versus Google Calendar. Google Calendar is one of the biggest and most popular calendar software out there, and in this video, we will be taking a look if you should just stick with the tried and tested Google Calendar, or whether Notion Calendar offers some features and benefits that you can't really get with Google. Let's first of all start out by talking about Google Calendar. Now, Google Calendar does exactly what it says on the tin. It's a place where you can come in, you can set certain dates, certain events, we can see what is coming up, and it's very, very simple to use. Let's say I have a meeting on Monday. I can say that this is a meeting with John. We can then come down and add the date and time. So we've already got Monday, but let's say that this meeting is from 1 p.m. till 2 p.m. Then we can go down and add in different guests. So if I want to invite John to this, I can simply just type in his email address right here, give John an invitation, I can then go down and set the meeting location. So if this is Zoom, you can add a Zoom link into here. Let's say that this is at the Shard in London. If this is an in-person meeting, we can set that up right there. Choose if we want to send a calendar invite to this person. And that is how we can add things to the calendar. We can also go through and let's say that tomorrow I have a salsa class. We can just add this in right here, salsa class. We can add the date and time, click on save. And that is Google Calendar right there. The downside to Google Calendar that I would say, especially when comparing this against something like Notion Calendar, is that if you are a business or you are working with a team, it's very limited in what we can do. Because essentially, all we can do is schedule things in. We have nothing to do aside from that. Whereas if you are using this as a personal calendar, it's quite literally perfect. It's so easy to use. It integrates with Google. You can schedule meetings in with people. You can schedule tasks very, very easily. So if you are using this for personal use, fantastic. If you are using this for business purposes and like managing a team or you are a part of a team, then Notion is probably the way to go. Let's jump into Notion. The first thing that you need to know is that Notion has two different types of calendars. So we have database calendars. That is what we can see right here. So just in this example, what I have been doing is I have been planning out some different social media posts and some deadlines for me and my team on the tasks that we have coming up. This type of calendar, the database calendar that we can see right here, this is essentially just another view for the database that we have created. So what I mean by this is this is the original database that I created right here. And then we can go up and add in a view. So you can see this is a view. We then switch this over to calendar and, and I will just call this test. And essentially what you are seeing right now in this calendar that they call this, this is essentially just another view. This is the exact same data as this that I originally created. It's just in a different format. So this looks like a calendar. It can be used as a calendar. It is a calendar, but the way that this calendar exists is because it's just another view and another way of looking at this data that I already set up. The second type of calendar that Notion has is the main Notion calendar that we can see right here. So once again, this calendar that I am in right now, this is a database calendar, and this is just a different view of the data I have already entered. The Notion calendar is an actual calendar application inside of Notion. And with this, you can actually integrate with Google Calendar. So we can sign in with Google right here. I can go through and connect this up and continue. And now just like this, I can essentially see my Google Calendar inside of Notion. So this tool right here essentially allows Google Calendar and Notion to overlap. And all of this that you see on screen right now, this is my Google Calendar that I now have inside of Notion. Now, because this is integrated, if I add something to my Google Calendar, it's going to show up inside of my Notion Calendar because that's what I signed in with. As an example, let's go to today's date, Friday the 5th of July. And I will just add something in here. As you can see right now, Friday the 5th of July, there's nothing. And let me just add record video, just as an example. I can then click on save and that is now added in. And now if I go over to my Notion calendar, it's automatically going to be added in there. And this works the same vice versa. So if I'm on Notion calendar this time and I add something in, let's add an event right here and say walk dog. We can add that in. And this is now going to show up on my Google Calendar right here. So this is a fantastic integration inside of Notion that they recently added. And it essentially allows you to drag your Google Calendar, everything that you have in there, and you can add it into Notion. Another cool feature of having these linked up inside of Notion Calendar right here is the fact that when we have these linked, 
we have access to all of the same tools that we do when we are using Google Calendar. So what I mean by this is if I'm using Notion Calendar, like I don't want to open Google right now, I've already been using Notion. What I can do is I can create a new task. And if I create an event, let's say this is a meeting with John, I can now go down and access all of these same areas that I can when I'm creating something on Google Calendar. So I can go down and add in participants. I can create like an email right here and add this person in. I can then go down and choose where this meeting is going to be. So I can connect up Zoom and Google Meet just like I can in Google Calendar. And a few months ago, before they added the actual calendar section, this was a big issue inside of the database calendar that Notion had because you couldn't really invite people. You couldn't schedule meetings to be in certain areas. So this is a huge fix that Notion added in right here. We can add everything in. So I can add a Zoom meeting, a link, a location, all of that good stuff. Now, a huge benefit to using this Notion version of the calendar rather than the Google version, although so far it has been the same, everything channels over, we can access all of the Google features inside of Notion. One huge pro that Notion calendar has that we can't access from the standard Google calendar is the fact that we can drag information from databases straight into this calendar. So on Google Calendar, if I have something in Notion set up like this, like I have tasks set up in Notion, I have an entire database here. Well, in Google Calendar, I wouldn't be able to drag everything from Notion in. Whereas with Notion Calendar, it kind of links these two together and allows us to. So what I can do is down here under my Notion, I can add in a Notion database and I can add in this content calendar that I created right here. So I can simply click on this and drag this in. And then we can link the launch calendar right here. And that is going to add the launch calendar in. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a new Notion database and add in the deadlines as well. Now there is one slight difference between this because if I was just to go into Notion calendar right here and add something as we saw, it's going to automatically transfer over to Google. However, I just added these two Notion databases and these are not immediately showing up on my Google calendar. However, we can fix this because we can go in and all we have to do is click on each of these individual tasks that we just added from the database. So I can select team trip story and over here on the right hand side, we can see this is only on the content calendar. So all I have to do is switch this to Google right here. I can go through, go in, switch this to Google, go in, switch this to Google. And now this is all going to appear on my Google calendar. If I just hit refresh, you can see these are all going to appear. So we can set that up right there. And another huge benefit of using the Notion ecosystem and the Notion calendars is the fact that we can still get these layouts. So on Google Calendar, as I talked about earlier, we can just basically set up events, we can schedule events, and it's very, very good for this. But when we are using Notion, we also get all of these other views and ways of organizing the data and interlinking data that we don't get when we just use Google Calendar. So what I mean by this is we can use either the actual calendar feature right here if we want to see everything, or we can just go into specific database calendars and see what is coming up for this particular event. What I mean by this is when we have tasks and certain things set up within Google Calendar, we can't just come here and search by like all projects. We can see all of the projects that we have going on. We can see a beautiful layout of who these are assigned to. We can see the deadline, the status, all of that good stuff. We could also in Notion right here, set this up to be a Kanban chart. So I could go for a board view right here. I can click on done. And then we can see a Kanban of things that are in the idea stage, things that are in the in process stage, publish stage. And having access to these views is absolutely incredible. And once again, this is not something that we can get access to with Google Calendar. So overall, what I would say about these two tools is if you are just using a calendar system to organize your week, you want to see when you are doing certain things like walking the dog, when you have certain sales meetings. But if you are a team and you have projects to plan out, not only can you integrate the two tools together, but you also get access to all of these other views and things to help plan out your workflow that you just don't get access to when using Google Calendar alone. So that is my comparison of Notion Calendar versus Google Calendar. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.